Today, you'll be learning several Mortal Kombat 1 tricks used by pros that the game does not teach you about. So if you learn anything new in this video, make sure to hit that like button and also comment any secret tricks you know about down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Rain, and I learned about this secret about a week ago in the comments section, and I could not believe my eyes. I could not believe what I was reading, but then I saw it at a tournament too, so it turns out this secret is real. Despite Netherrealm pretending that Rain is the premier zoner of this game, the reality is he's actually a mix-up monster, a setup character if you will. And one of his greatest mix-ups is not mentioned anywhere in the move list. I'm about to blow your mind right now, okay? See this right here? It's an overhead. The second hit leads to a full combo because it launches the opponent, so you don't want to crouch against this character, right? Well, guess what? Check this out. Yeah, that's right. I just held throw during the overhead and it canceled into the throw. For whatever reason, that's just something Rain can do. You can hold the throw during the overhead and he'll just cancel out of it and grab the opponent. And the reason that's so scary is because the only way to avoid this setup is to crouch, right? Well, guess what? If you do that and he commits to the overhead, you get launched for a full combo. And Rain's combos hurt and also lead to guaranteed hard to block setups, all right? In other words, you do not want to get caught by this overhead, so you're going to block, but then Rain can punish you for that, and also pick which direction he throws you, and that's a big deal, because with the right cameo, Rain can actually combo off his back throw. It's not gonna do crazy damage, but even so, you're getting comboed off an unblockable that comes from a overhead setup. Once again, Netherrealm was lying to us when they called this character the Premier Zoner. He's a setup character, a mix-up, a monster, if you will, and the fact he can cancel his overhead into a throw is just more proof of that. And once again, nowhere in the move list is this mentioned. Here's the overhead right here. I'm gonna hit advanced view and look at that. There's nothing under the notes. The only way to learn about this is if somebody tells you. And thankfully, that's why I'm here. Drop a like down below if you learned something new, because this overhead cancelable throw setup is nonsense. Next up, we have Johnny Cage, the hands down best character in the game at this point, because the recent update nerfed Baraka and Raiden pretty hard. And as a result, most players would agree that Johnny Cage is hands down the best character right now, which is why maybe Maybe I should not be teaching you this secret because it's only gonna make Johnny Cage stronger, but you know what? In case you hate fighting Johnny Cage, you need to know about this secret ability that he has. Alright, so here's the thing. Johnny Cage's throw break is the best in the entire game. And if you don't believe me, check this out. I'm going to tell the opponent to throw me, and then I'm just going to break their throw, okay? Ooh, hands off, Reptile! Spin the bar, and guess what just happened? Reptile can no longer throw me for a short period of time. That's right, look at the screen right now. Now, Reptile is trying to throw me and the game won't let him. I told him to throw and he simply can't do it. For the cost of one bar, Johnny Cage can disable the opponent's ability to throw if they try to throw him first. And that's a big deal against certain characters because not everyone has overhead low mix-ups, so they rely on throws to make up for that and Johnny Cage can just take their throws away. He can take their unblockable mix-ups off the table for a short period of time. And sure, it cost one bar of meter, but guess what? Johnny is one of those characters that doesn't need meter for any of his combos. Look at that, over 30% no meter required. And if I wanted to use a cameo, it would do even more damage. So put simply, Johnny Cage always has meter lying around, okay? He's always got meter to spare, which means he has no problem spending it to break your arm and disable the throw. However, all that said, I do have a bit of a confession because the game actually does mention this in the move list, but here's the thing. How many of you actually check the details of the throw? I bet not many of you. And that's because because for 99% of characters, the throws don't behave any differently. Sure, some of them can be cameo comboed after, but you're not gonna find that in the notes, right? So my point is, why would you check his throw to see that it can do this? In this game, Johnny Cage is Jackie, all right? He punishes you for throwing him. He can spend one bar and disable your throw for a good length of time. And whether you love playing Johnny Cage or simply hate fighting against him, now you know what he can do, so you're a better warrior than before. All right, next up, I'm gonna teach you a pro trick that everybody is using at tournaments, because right Right now, Kung Lao is the most popular cameo character in the game, and the reason why is this move right here, the low hat toss. This ability gives every character a 50-50, and that's a big deal. I see a lot of you in the comments saying, my character doesn't have 50-50s, I can't open up the opponent. Yes, you can, because this cameo attack can be delayed and held down. So when combined with a jump in, look what happens. A really hard to block overhead low mix-up. And keep in mind, you can choose which attack hits first. So for example, if I want the jump 
Trumpin to hit first, I can delay the release of the hat. However, if I want the hat to hit first, I can release it before my jump in lands. And because this hat doesn't knock down, it leads to a full combo every single time your mix-up works. It's really strong, and pretty much every character in the game can do this. And right now, you might be thinking, Underdog, the opponent's not just gonna stand there, let me summon the hat, and then jump at them. They're gonna escape the setup. No, they won't, and here's how you do it. At the end of any combo, instead of finishing with a special move, summon Kung Lao's hat, and then jump forward right away, release the cameo button, and then do your jump in attack. The opponent's gonna wake up into this and be forced to block every single time. Most characters can't even use armor to escape this because you're hitting them twice really quickly, so that will break their armor. So rest assured, this setup is very effective. There's a reason why almost every pro player is using Kung Lao on their team right now, because this 50-50 setup is so great for starting combos, and it's really hard to block. Like I mentioned at the very start of the video, I'm going to teach you tactics that pro players use, and this Kung Lao hat is definitely one of them. Okay, this next tip is an honorable mention. It's not a pro trick, and it's not a secret. The game does teach you this, but I swear on the Elder Gods, not enough of you are using this technique, and it changes the game. Right now, I'm going to block, okay? And then while I hold the block button, I'm going to hold up. Do you see that? That's an up block, and it's by far the most important defensive mechanic added to Mortal Kombat 1. Once you start using up block more often, it's going to make your online experience so much nicer. And that's because up block allows you to punish most overheads in the game. Even if the overheads are normally safe or even plus on block, it does not matter. A lot of the time, up block can destroy them. For example, check this out. I'm telling Reptile to do a simple forward jump punch. And look at that. He's plus 8 on block when he does this. Or in other words, he gets guaranteed pressure, right? Wrong, because check this out. I can up block, and that's a full punish. That's right. Most regular jump-ins in this game become punishable if you up block them. Or in other words, once you master the timing of the up block, your opponents just can't jump in anymore, like ever again. They will get punished every single time. And that's a really big deal for characters who lack a lot of mix-ups. Melina is a great example because her overhead mix does not combo, but guess what? She can still punish you for jumping in every single time. And that's a really good thing to know when your character does high damage. And now last, but certainly not least, we have comboing off of throws. Too many players in this game treat throws like they were in past games. Just some flat damage and a hard to guess 50-50. But in Mortal Kombat 1, throws are so much more than that, because a vast majority of characters can combo off their throws with the right cameo assist. For example, Goro and Cyrax are both fantastic at this because they have ambush attacks that can be done at any point in the game, even if you're already doing an attack. Trust me, you'll be shocked at how many characters can combo off their throw. It's especially easier if your character launches the opponent, but that's not always required. Sometimes you can still combo off your throw. Now, unfortunately, I can't give you an example of every single character in this video, so just take my word for it. Go into training mode and see if your character can combo off their back throw. All right, and there you have it, everyone. Several tricks in Mortal Kombat 1 that the game does not teach you and the pro players use all the time. Once again, if you learned something new, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.